Alrighty, everybody. So we've gotten ourselves a fancy new dress and a fancy new hat, which is invisible. Shh, don't tell. And a fancy new staff. So let's go out and see what adventures we find. So we're going to go back to the Adventurers Guild to continue with our main story quest. Because our staff clips through our hair. Because we're just that awesome. Alrighty, so we're going to ignore the side quest for a little bit. I just want to do that uh, last time so we can actually get some experience so we could actually do some crap. These load times, man. Usually it's not that bad, but it's because I'm recording and it's slowed down. Well, hello, madam. What kind of job for me do you have? That was bad English. I'm sorry. All right. Well, I've beat the crap out of things before. I'm sure I'll be okay. I have the power of kill it with fire. So I can go out the gate right to the side there, but no, I'm going to use the fancy fancy teleport crystal because that's just how I roll. Technically, I could go out anywhere and I would still eventually find it. Thankfully, all, like, all this crap is nice and marked on the maps and such. See, he's right over there. Yeah, and even the story quests have the little the sunburst, so. So, you know, let's see if we can get that another chunk of the section of the map filled out there. What kind of weather is this? This is dust storms. Ooh. I don't think I've ever seen dust storms here. Must not be coming at the right time. Usually it's it's very sunny in Thanalan. Okay. So we discovered a new location, so the map filled out a little bit more. That's all I wanted, because just considering I was, you know, right there. Okay. Hello, sir. Yes, she did. How did you know? Okay. Yeah, we kind of know that. Yes, we worked together as a team. We weren't there for that, so we can't take any credit for that crap. Okay, I'll do whatever you want, as long as you pay me. And more shards that I don't need as we level up again. Ooh, we learned thunder! Alright, alright. Little explanation here. Um, thunder is a damage over time spell, or a dot, as people in this game refer to. I don't know if that's in other MMOs. So basically we cast it, and it does... Um... The power of the spell once after it hits is, like I said, does the potency is 35, so it's gonna do obviously that's like the base damage um, thrown in before calculations. And the duration is 18 seconds. Now the way dots work in this game is it actually ticks down the damage every three. So I'm only gonna get tick, six ticks out of the spell at 35 potency for each of them, and the initial spell itself will hit for 30 when I first hit it. So that's kind of important because some classes actually, summoners for example, uh, their dots are what does most of the damage. So I have to be mindful of stuff like that. Ooh, this one's going to give us potions that we don't need because they're stinking useless in this game. Ooh, I get to give people pretzels? Awesome. Yeah, potions in this game are, until you get to the very high level ones, are kind of worthless. Because as you can see, the recast time is one minute. So you can't just be sitting here spamming these. 
which kind of makes them pointless. But some of the other ones late game uh, can be a bit helpful to hold you over a little bit, specifically like the X ethers and whatnot. Here, sir, have a salted pretzel. Well, I guess one wonders how salty they are, because if they're too salty and we didn't give them a glass of water, that would be kind of mean of us, wouldn't it be? Well, I need to use my sprint more again. Apologies, because I made a disciple of war class, so my TP is very precious. That guy's up there, so you gotta go around and climb the cliffs! Can you stand around be Imagine getting stung by one of these hornets. Jesus, crap! Hello, Mr. Lookout. Would you like a snack? Um. I I'm gonna kick you in the balls. Um. Ha ha ha. Okay, you're definitely getting kicked in the balls for that. Give me money? No? Fine. I'll burn your pretzel and then set you on fire next time. How about that? Yo, it's what I find really funny is you can right, run right through the monsters, even the hostile ones. There, there's no touch damage at all. Oh, you're so tiny. Have a pretzel, cutie. Is he at? And Hero Adventure resorted to giving pretzels to people on the job because their bosses can't do it. Or, you know, relieve them long enough to give them a break so they can eat their own food. You resorting to slavery around here, is that it? No, I'm just I'm just messing with you guys. Yeah, nothing. They didn't tell us jack crap. And I get a bunch of worthless potions, but more importantly, I get experience, so. So you were holding back on me? Well, you could have told me that before. Alright, dire need of my assistance. What can I do for you, sir? Why you? So you're not gonna do the job. You're just gonna pin it on me instead and take all the credit, right? And yet you're standing here not being part of the search yourself. Shame on you, sir. A child is missing. Shame on you. Okay. If it would please you to do so, sir. Look, our location is conveniently marked for us. However do we know this? Maybe she's hiding in the tree? I don't know. Hello, Mr. Snapping Shrews. Hello, Mr. Huge Hornets. Hello, nice big lush trees in the middle of the freaking desert. Uh, I don't know how you explain that one, but... Fantasy world, I guess? I guess? Dude, that is one fr I've never noticed this tree before. This is one freaking massive tree. Holy crap. I mean, I've seen bigger, but... Alright, so this little highlighted area, and see how it's being glowing? This is an instance battle. Uh, obviously we do not have, we haven't done this before, but you must enter here alone.
So basically, if you want to do, um, like buff yourself up or anything like that, or if you're in a party, you want to leave and take care of that stuff at this time. Um, it will, it will not actually let you enter if you have, like, anybody in your party. And what this means right here, the level sync thing, um, it's basically to prevent you from being overpowered and cheating. It's simply, like, the, the, the fate level sync. It's basically... If I'm above level 8, it will sink me down and pretend I'm level 8 for the duration of this instance here. Just so I'm not, like, overpowered it to it. And you can die during these. But usually the game just, uh, kicks you back out. And I actually forgot to mention what happens when you die in the overall. Oh, Basically... Satan tree, hallowed spirit of my line, forgive my weakness. My failings have cost us dear. Uh, I did not know this is a talking cutscene. Apologies. Because, again, I haven't seen this yet. Show yourself! Excuse me? <sighs> As you command, O oh Lily Ra. Forgive my selfish desire to assure your welfare. I don't recall requesting an escort. Simply pretend we never met and continue on your way. Whoa. You both know I can do no such thing. It isn't safe for you here alone. Yeah, somebody might kick you down a hill. It isn't safe for anyone. Not with this etheric disturbance. It's as though the dead are watching us. Uh-oh. Uh oh Zombies! And I'd prefer not to join them. If it's all the same to you. Ah, you must be the one that Papa Sean mentioned. Congratulations on finding our elusive young charge. She was standing out in the freaking open! She wasn't exactly, like, hiding! You'll have to forgive her impetuousness. Oh, what she lacks in discipline, she makes up for in stubbornness. Yeah, that disguise a lot of people I know. <laughs> you should return with us. The station master will be eager to thank Lady Lilira's protector in person. Um, she never said she was gonna go with you. I'm just gonna point that out right now. Huh? Alas, the station master will have to wait. Yeah. Dear Lilira, for my sake, please stay out of harm's way. Oh, for your sake, huh? Not for hers! Good God, you're an asshole! As for you, dear friend, for Lilira's sake, please stay in harm's way. You don't even know who the hell I am! The station master hasn't seen me in battle! He doesn't know what I can do! <laughs> Alright. So we're gonna open up with our Thunder Spell so that can be ticking and doing some damage. While we set it on fire. Now in a lot of these instances here, um, you are charged with pretty much, um, even if you don't die, if certain people certain NPCs, like Mr. Handsome Stranger over here, if they die, um, it may still count as a failure. So keep that in mind. Um, for classes that do have uh, curative abilities, yes, you can cure them. Um, but most of them just involve basically getting the monster getting pissed off at you, or luring, luring them away, or just killing it fast enough so that uh, they don't die. Um, in some of these instances, uh, NPCs will actually heal you to keep you alive. But yeah, if you end up failing or dying, this usually just kicks you right back out to where we were a minute ago. Um, if you die in the overworld otherwise, which I was trying to get into before I was so rudely interrupted by this voice cutscene, um, it sends you back to, you have either a choice of waiting there until somebody revives you, or releasing back to your home location. I actually might want to put my thunder spell back on. That would be a little bit helpful. I 
Now this other debuff on here is what he's, he's causing. It's basically a strength down buff. And Blizzard causes heavy, as you can see here. And basically their movement is reduced. And that's what that purple cloud underneath you means as well. It's part of the visual effect of it. So we want to get rid of these ads here because your job is to piss us off and make our lives harder. So it's best to get rid of them. In some instances, you might you do want to ignore them or take out certain ones first, but that is not the case here. As you can see, I am getting my butt. Oh, see, he's curing me. Thank you, sir. A bunch of NPCs will actually do this for you. I mean, you, you can still die and everything like that, but, um... It's basically to help cover for the NP the, the, the classes that cannot heal themselves yet. Or at all. Not without using certain skills. Hmm. Alright, now we gotta find the midget. Hmm? Do I see something shiny? Yeah, don't mind the fact that the shadows look like crap. I have the graphic settings turned down. They do look better than that normally. Alright. What is happening here? Sparklies! Hear. Feel. Sing. Crystal Bearer. I am Hydaelyn, all made one. A light there once was that shone throughout this realm, yet it has since grown dim. And as it hath faltered, so hath darkness risen up in its stead, presaging an end to life. For the sake of all, I beseech thee, deliver us from this fate. The power to banish the darkness dwelleth in the crystals of light. Journey forth and lay claim to them. By thy deeds, Shall the crystals reveal themselves to thee? Only believe, for the light liveth in thy heart.
child, and shine thy light on all creation. Exposition! And apparently we passed out. Awesome! Ah, coming around now. Would you mind telling me what that was? Hmm, if I only knew. A denizen of the void at any rate. My voice and my lip movements aren't matching! <laughs> the void scent? Yeah, but how? The question isn't how, but who. We're not dealing with bookless bandits. Oh my god, the voice sync in this scene is all terrible. <laughs> Most of them are somewhat better. Don't suppose the answer came to you in a dream? How about you ask for my name and tell me yours? That would be a better way to start a conversation, don't you think? No sooner did you fell the beast than you fell asleep. Too much ether, no doubt. And I can't help but notice you, you let me just lay there uh, on, you know, the cold dirt. You know, didn't take off your jacket to use as a pillow or anything. You know, didn't douse water on my face. You know, make sure I had a freaking pulse. Interesting. I hadn't considered the crystal. I don't think he even saw it. He turned around. I don't know. But of course, this changes everything. Okay. Hmm? Oh, just thinking aloud. At any rate, we haven't a moment to spare. I must return and report this at once. I leave Lady Lilira in your capable hands. She never said she was gonna come with us! Or why she was here! Why you pass me about like a swaddled babe? See?! <laughs> I shall return and tell them myself! You tell them! As you wish, your impetuousness. I suspect we shall meet again before long. Until then, do try and stay awake. Can I punch you, please? Please? Alright, so that crystal in that cutscene, um, if you've been watching and put two and two together, uh, and have watched the intros, Heidelin is the name of the planet. As well as that crystal. That is the mother crystal. Um, well basically, we've been given a quest to, oh, get the MacGuffin crystals, which will appear to us after doing certain deeds and crap. Sorry, I just like just going into battle stance and whatnot. Um, so that is our basic story for the time being. That is our, our basic mission in here. Um, and if you notice, there was a bunch of other adventures there as well. Um, implying that we're not the only, you know, uh, Eorzean Jesus here. Um, although, I have to admit, and I don't know if anything's been officially said about this, I'm not sure if that is canon that there's more than one of us um, floating around doing the same mission, or if it's more a lampshade on the fact that it's an MMO, and obviously a bunch of the content later we will have to party up with other players for. So I don't know if it's just lampshading on, on that fact that obviously these people don't come out of nowhere. Or if there legitimately is multiple people that have been sent along. So apparently there's a bunch of other people here. Oh, no, these are the, the Sultan's one. Derp. These are people we were talking to earlier who were looking for her. I forgot about that because I'm an idiot. Okay. Explain, madam.
Find what? If you're looking for Jesus, I'm kind of right here. Why don't you give me money? Money? Money, money, money? Oh, so I deserve all the money, but you can't give it to me. <laughs> That's a, a nice description. I'm sorry, this is the again, this is the first time I'm seeing the uh, the early old uh, specific storyline, so a lot of these lines of dialogue I'm seeing for the first time myself, and um, given some of the stuff I'm going to say later about certain instances, this is utterly hilarious to me. Aren't we always the sort of adventure everybody needs around here? Hooray! Totally awesome. Alright, so we're going to end the episode right here. Now that we've accomplished our, our first major duty, we've gotten ourselves a crystal, and now we have a true purpose in the game, instead of just wandering around helping just random people. So thank you for watching, everybody, and we're going we're gonna to continue with the story quest. We're going to talk to that guy next, obviously, and continue the chain! So thanks for watching, guys. Have a good day.